All right, so you are live with Taji on WEMS Radio. We zoom in, zoom in, zoom in right now under this whole COVID yeah. pandemic. You know, all right, y'all need to see the sign live with Taji. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. So I'm going to just give y'all a little teaser here on my Instagram. How y'all doing? Um, so I got somebody in the building. Hello, hello. We got love, right? So you would be considered what uh, essential, actually. And uh, that's because you, you, you give us food. You give yeah. us seafood, to be exact. <laughs> So um, I know you have a restaurant. I Where is that located? Yes, it's a Seafood Express in Harlem. We have two locations, um, 131st, 132nd, and Lenox. And then the other location is on 145th and 7th. And whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got two locations? I can't hear you too good. It's a little bad connection. Two locations. Two locations. Wait. So, wait, hold on. The connection was off. Good. All right, there we go. So, okay. you say, so you're located in Harlem. Yes. And you have two locations. Two locations, yes. Okay. And one is located where? On 131st, 132nd, and Lenox. And the other one is on 145th and 7th Avenue. Hey, Mike. Um, okay, so House of Seafood, right? We got Lex Diamond. So do we call you Lex? Do we call you Lex Diamond? Oh. Everybody call just call you Lexi? Lexi? Yep. Everybody call me Lexi. Everybody calls you Lexi? Yes. Now, is it spelled how it is on your page, but the L-E-X-X? Uh, yeah, I got to be extra. L E X X I I E E. Oh, oh, you gotta be extra. Extra. <laughs> all right. So it's all about food, and I see you a celebrity chef, top chef. Right? Yes. yes. So I how long listen. have you? How long have you been in business? Uh, that's what I want to know. Well, the business is just as old as me. I'm 24 years old. We started in 1995, the same year I was born. Oh wow! Yeah. So the business has been around. Yes. For a and long now time. It's in, it's, in, it's in your hands now. Yes, grandma passed it down to me. Oh, so I how know. long has it been your baby? I mean, I know you said pretty much since birth, but now with with you solely just being the owner, how long has has it been yours? Uh, two years now. I have my own stuff for two years now. Oh, two years now. So let's talk about this house of seafood, right? Because there's a lot of restaurants that say they just do seafood or a steakhouse or whatever, but they do more. So do you only do seafood or you do everything else as well? Well, we do seafood and soul food. Um, we also have chicken, just in case, you know, there's people that's allergic to seafood. So we right. do like whiten, catfish, salmon, um, chicken strips. We have a new chicken sandwich coming out. Um, we do hot wings, buffalo wings, barbecue wings. We have lemon pepper wings, and then we have our soul food, the mac and cheese, the collard greens. Wait, we have so you, wow, wow, wow. you got you got all of that. I yeah. thought you was just giving yeah, me shrimp, lobster. <laughs> we got somebody. Mike saying he hungry. I know, right? I wish I could just go outside and. Come get me some food. Well, if you can't go outside, we could come to you. We deliver. Oh, if you, you in deliver? Harlem and in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. We deliver. So, where do you deliver to? Anywhere? Like, are you, are you going um, to Queens? Right now, we deliver through Grubhub and Uber. So Uber and Grubhub does only, like, the Bronx and certain parts in the Bronx and Harlem. So what about, what about Queens people? We can't get none of that food? We can't get no seafood? Soon, if we, we can find a location out here, but I mean, if I have a special delivery and the order is big enough, I'll personally deliver. Yes, we do, do oh, that. Oh, okay. So, all right. So to bring that back, your house of seafood. So yeah, we talking about food right now, people. Yes. And you don't just do seafood; you do chicken, you soul food. Actually. Yes. 
So we have a lot of items on the menu. Oh, so you just know how to just bring the people there. Like, yo, she got yeah, soul food and soul food. Yes. And, and um, I'm gonna just keep it real. There's a lot of people out there that know their seafood. Mm-hmm. And then there's those that are very like limited, like they just feel like it's just fish, shrimp, and lobster. Like mm-hmm. there's a whole list of seafoods, right? You have what like, crab legs. We have calamari, scallops. Oh, yeah, calamari. Yes, you have trout. You have different fishes, porgy, crab sticks. How do you how do you keep that up? Because that's a lot of food. It, I don't know how we do it, honestly. It's, it's magical. Well, honestly, we're a family business. So, honestly, if we wasn't a family business, it would be very hard, like, just to, like, be yourself a owner and then depend on workers. We we actually are, like, maintaining because, it's, like, we're a family. So we have, like, at least five different people that can hold it down and actually, like, you know, keep everything together. Hey. Wave real quick. I got you on my live. You can just wave. Hey. hey. I'm showing y'all a little pre-teaser of our interview that's soon to come on live with Taji, y'all. You know, getting hungry up in here. <laughs> right. Um, all right. So do you get deliveries every day, weekly? Every day. We open well, the Linux location opens seven days a week. Um, the seventh Avenue Avenue location only open six days a week so Linux is the main location it's bigger we have seats and everything but of course nobody can sit in right now but that location is always packed always always it's always packed always like are delivery. you always at are you always at both like you manage both locations um it's more or less me cooking I'm cooking mainly at the first location and then the second one is I'm doing everything but since we oh, the second location only opens from four to twelve, so I'm able to like work at the Linux location first and then go to the other location. So I just go to help them make sure everything's running, cook if I need to, and yeah. So how how far are the locations from each other? So let's say if you go to one and let's say I want to order about ten lobsters and you don't have ten lobsters at one location and it's like okay you can go to the other. How We're only about 10 to 15 to... blocks. 10 okay. to 15 blocks apart. So it's not too far. That's what's up. So, yeah. um, a lot of people are... do that. <laughs> so um, is there like a special menu? Or uh, like a website? We have... Or is it more like walk-in and, and the menu's there? So is it yes. in-store kind of thing? No website? We have a website. Um, it's houseofseafoodexpress.nyc. Um, but basically, the menu is the same thing every day. Same thing every day. Mm-hmm. Any any specials? Any seafood specials? Like yes, we have um, specials from eleven to two every day. Um, the mm-hmm. the Linux the Seventh Avenue location has specials all day. They do like a dinner special for like nine dollars, like two pieces of white and two sides for nine dollars. Um, Linux mm-hmm. does like a house special and a seafood special. The house specials is like two whitens, eight baby shrimps, six scallops, and fries for seven dollars. And whoa, then, whoa, wait, hold on. Listen, you can't be <laughs> flying past that. Whoa, wait. So one of the specials I heard is fish, 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 a side dress, and a whole bunch of that for seven dollars. Yeah, seven dollars. Is it nice? When it when, when is that special? From eleven to two. Eleven to two, and that's every day or a certain day? Every day. Mm-mm. Every day. Three hours. Every day. So, so what's what's in that special again? So it's fish and... We have and two whitens, eight, two baby whitens. Shrimps, eight baby shrimps. Eight baby shrimps. Six scallops. Six scallops. And french fries. And french fries. Mmm. That's a nice mix right there. Mm-hmm. And then we have a seafood special. It comes with two whitens, three crab cakes, three salmon cakes, and french fries. Mmm. I love me some salmon cakes. Mm-hmm. Now, do so, you make yours? Do you make yours flat or like oval? For the for the specials, it comes in like little balls. Little but then balls. regular, like if somebody asks for a salmon cake, it comes in more or less like a patty, but a bigger one, of course. All right. Now, what hush puppies? Do you do hush puppies? We do. We definitely do. What What exactly is a hush puppy? It's like, basically like cornmeal and flour. The way we make ours is like basically a cornmeal flour uh, base. And then we add like different other seasonings. But it's to me, it's like 
a, a dumpling. I could compare okay. it to that. All right. Because I know as a kid, like, you know, fish and chips. And it's like, you got your fish, you got your fries, and this little round thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I feel like it almost could go as like with cornbread. And the cornbread we have is off the charts. Of course, it's named after me. You know? Oh, what, what word? Is it it's Le- called Lexi? Lexi Lexi's cornbread? Honey cornbread, yes. Oh, honey cornbread. So does yes. that mean you really put honey in that cornbread? And, and real butter. And real butter. Real butter. <laughs> so you're the chef for both locations of House of Seafood. It's uh, okay. me and my mom and my aunt and my grandma. Okay, so it really is in a family. Hey, y'all, tuning yes. in. Listen, I, I got Lex on my Zoom interview over here that's going to be airing soon. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Right there. He is the owner of House of Seafood in Harlem. There's two locations. And, you know, she's making us hungry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't just do seafood. She does soul food as well. And there's specials every day from 11 to 2. And they and you deliver. Um, and you deliver. Bronx and Brooklyn. And Harlem. Bronx and Harlem for now. Um, other locations you working on like how do we like you know if i really want that house of seafood how am i getting i mean because technically it is essential it is so how am i how am i get how am i get how am i get, how am I get some food are we open now baby so i can like you know still i, I mean i don't want to get pulled over like yo where you going i'm like yeah i'm going to house gonna, of seafood. Ooh, right we open right now we close at eight o'clock now because of this whole coronavirus so we open from 11 to 8 every day. And uh, Leilani asked, uh, where's the menu? Uh, we have a menu online. Uh, online. House of Seafood Express, yes. House and of we have Seafood a website Express as well. dot NYC. Yep, that's the website. And then if you just go to House of Seafood Express menu, our Grubhub menu will pop right up. Grubhub and Uber Eats. Yes. Hey, Sammy. How you doing? Doing my Zoom interview right now. I'm home. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to it, right? You have a delivery every day, and you do see you do more than just seafood. You've been a chef. How long have you been a chef for? Did you go to school for that, or are you self-taught? I'm self-taught. It it was really uh, it's really like so, basically like a family thing. Like my grandma used to have me in the kitchen helping her. My auntie, when I was little, we, I used to be in the back of the kitchen helping her mix the macaroni and cheese and stuff. So um, I didn't go to school cheese. for this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So it sounds like you got some good stuff. I do. And I mean, I know you had like celebrities come visit your place as well. Yes. And, Even had uh, celebrities come since 95. Oh, excuse me. I was like, hey, I've been having celebrities since 90. Like, you didn't even say 90 since 95. Yes. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen this video, but Khalees, she did a video from back in the day. She oh, did that's it in my our, girl. She did it in our old store. I forgot the name of it. My mom knows, but um, she did it in our store and she was on a phone. We had a phone booth outside the store. She did a um, video there. We used to be on 126 and 8th Avenue back in the days. Okay. That's dope. So Khalees has been there. Um, who else has been to your house um, of seafood? So personally that I met, um, Dream Doll, me and her became real cool after that. She's such a lovable person. I love her. Dream Doll, uh, Pusha T, Ron Browse, um, Rob Curry from Day 26, Jack Thriller. Mm-hmm, I saw um, that. The twins, uh, Tasha and Sidra Smith. I met them too. Um, oh wow! So you got a, chains. Jeez, you got a list. <laughs> yes, a lot. Um, Big Daddy Kane came. Um, oh wow! A, no, a lot of people don't know about Big Daddy Kane. Mhm. Um, I know. Um, what's the guy name from One Hundred Five Point One? Oh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne no, no, or Envy? Not Envy. The other one. Wait, who's the other one? <laughs> what the big? Oh, I can't get the name. 
we both stuck. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. you can watch it. Oh, yeah. Listen, if you watch this, we listen. We we, love we you. just can't. We just can't get the name out right now. It's okay. The I'm COVID sorry, just got you. to us. Our memory. No shade. We love Power yeah. 105. But yeah. So what's the pricing range like? Um. So. Pretty much, like, for, for whiting, it's between, like, 7 and 15. As far as, like, dinners, if you want a whiting dinner with two sides, it, it goes for 15. Right. Um, a whiting sandwich is $7. Um, the chicken ranges from, like, 7 to 15. Like, the dinners are, like, between right. 15 $20. The combos are between uh, 20 and 30 depending, like, if you get, like, shrimp and scallop or lobster and shrimp. Um, well, the lobster, combo, lobster is expensive. What is it? And we just do the tells, the little three ounce ones. They right. they very expensive. But so um, for people that don't understand why lobster is so expensive, can you tell us why it's so pricey? Because we just look at it like, okay, they just chilling in the water, and you just take them and you put them in the hot water. Like, why is a lobster? I always say, why is a lobster so expensive? And it ain't barely got any meat inside. That, see, that's how a lot of things are. They don't have a lot of meat in it, but they be like the most expensive. Um, I feel like the lobster are very expensive because like finding them and, you know, catching them and stuff like that. But they're expensive part. Yeah, um, they are expensive. Yeah. That's no joke. And with the seafood and the shrimp, it come you come in like different sizes, right? It's not just the small, it's a small, medium, and jumbo shrimp. So for like know. the dinners, we just basically we just do two different size shrimp. We have the shrimp for the specials, as far as the house special, the one I told you about, and then we just do the jumbos because that's too much. Like as far as yeah. like buying inventory and pricing, and then yeah, you get well. a customer and they're like, I wanted the medium, or I wanted the large. We just make it easy. At least we know what the jumbo shrimp, the doodles being clean. Right. That too. That's why people, a lot of people come to us as well. Because we're very, we're, we have authentic food and we clean our food. We yeah, clean, but that takes a lot of paint. That takes a lot, like especially every day, like you clean and doodle out the shrimp every day. Yeah, that's that's why you got to hire workers, man. <laughs> <laughs> we, had our oh, fish yeah. we had our same fish cutter since 1995 and he has his oh Good Friday's coming up, matter of fact. So when Good Friday comes, he has his whole family come. His daughter, his son, and they, you know, come help. Wow, that's what's up. Yeah. So can you tell me real quick what the process is like um, managing a place, being a chef, actually? So talk me through it. Like, you come in, like, it's the start of the day. You come in. What is Lex doing? How how was your process up until me, the customer, come in and I get my food? So the process of coming in is a headache, number one. So I'm probably doing about 10 things at once. I'm starting up the steam table, um, taking the food out to be heated up or cooked. I got I'm starting the grits and we use old fashioned grits. So our grits is not oh, taking five grits minutes. Too? Yes, we got grits. We do fish and grits. Shrimp and grits, crab cake and grits, mm. lobster and grits, everything. But the grits we use are old fashioned. So, you know, those grits takes about an hour. So while I'm, you know, cooking, stirring grits, I'm heating up mac, collard greens, yams, starting the dish water, the oil has to be cleaned. But we have somebody who comes and clean the oil, you know, before we come in. Um, I'm setting up the store, putting mats down, folding bread, while waiting for the next person to come in um making juice we have like our drinks are uptown and downtown it's basically our juices our fruit punch lemonade and iced tea um okay. it's just different mixes and um i'm prepping cleaning chicken probably pep prepping for the night doing like 10 max maybe just for like to last us two or three days chopping up onions chopping up green peppers um boiling oh, potatoes yes yeah, it's, it's a process it's a process but the way we try to cook is because, like, you know, we are a restaurant, so we have, like, big pots. We'll try to cook up maybe, like, four or six coll cases of collard greens. That probably will last us two or three days, and then we'll store them in our buckets. So as the days go, we just, like, heating up and cooking them a little longer, basically. 
So we try to, you know, cook like that so it's not so much of an overload. But cooking right. every day is a lot because we're not that big. So we're, we're working in a small kitchen as well as frying and, you know, serving customers as well. So the food, um, your food is mainly fried. Is it baked as well? We have steam. So we do like steamed steam. salmon, steamed shrimp. We broil you salmon. We broil you trout, porgy. Um, the only fish we don't steam is like the white and catfish because it's too soft. Okay, so you have options because you know, uh -huh. you know, we picky. We like I don't do fried food. No, and then we oh, no. do fried and then we food. We have like collard greens. We have steamed vegetables if you need want to be healthy. We right. have a house salad. We have coleslaw. So we have like you know healthy things on the menu as well. It's not all just fried, but fried, of course, you know, sells the most. <laughs> right. So what would you say is your specialty? What is uh, your specialty dish? Well, my specialty is the macaroni and cheese because I make that every day. Like I'm, I'm designated to make the mac. So that's my specialty. Oh, kind of like uh, when it's Thanksgiving time or whatever. Everybody know. Only Lex is making the mac and cheese. Yes, because that's how, honestly, that's how we have to work. Like, my grandma, she's in charge of the rice and, like, the peach cobbler and the sweet potato pie. Ooh, I'll do, like, the Wait, y'all got, do y'all have dessert, have dessert too? Yes, we have a bakery, too. Treats by Treats, that's my mom. So, we have, like, a whole bakery. We have strawberry cake, lemon cake, chocolate cake, German chocolate, banana pudding cake. Red velvet, key lime. Listen, you, you trying to have people gaining weight like a mother during this quarantine, yo. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing open really. Like we're one of the, probably one of the only restaurants that are open still. So, yeah, y'all yeah. hungry? Yeah, I got to eight o'clock. <laughs> and I'm hoping y'all keeping it safe too, because I of mean, it's, it's no. We're joke. serving through the window. We we can't let nobody come in, so we just you know everything to go. We got ketchup, pasta, tartar on the side. Everything is to go. Wow, I'm gonna see y'all later. I'm I'm talking to people on my live right now. So listen, y'all can tune in when you see this posted and see more because any this video is gonna disappear in 24 hours anyway. <laughs> yeah, let me finish. All right, so. You're one of the only people that's open during this time, which is dope. Mm -hmm. um, you just talked about your specialty dish. Now, what's the most difficult dish for you to make? Rice. I can't make rice for nothing. Really? Yeah. I, I, I mean, it can be easy, but you know what? Sometimes, because even with me, like, rice is easy, but it's hard to my, because to me, I overthink it. Mm -hmm. When I overthink it, it's overcooked. Right. See, mine come out too sticky or like too wet. And the thing is, the rice that we have to make at the store is my grandma's recipe. So she's putting extra stuff, and it's just like my brain just can't grasp it. Like it's just, it's just, it's just not happening. Yeah. And then she make this red rice. Oh my gosh, you have to try it. It's red rice yes. with red, red rice. rice. Yes, with beef sausage in it, and that rice is like if you put a little too much of something, you're going to mess it up. So that rice has to be made exactly how she does it. And that's why she, that we just leave that to her and you make that rice because it's too much. It's too much of a headache. Wow. <laughs> so how often would you say that you get like special orders in? Because, you know, you have your, you have your customers that come in oh, so and like you have it when you're, you have it also to where like the phone is off the hook. Like, yo. <laughs> your face you're like listen yesterday girl <laughs> yesterday the phone first of all the phone goes off non-stop you have people just calling to see you know if we open what time we close then right. you have customers calling about their deliveries customers wanting them to place pickup orders but we don't take pickup orders because it's too much of a headache. We just let, you know, people come in. We don't have people order food and then cancel it. So we just leave it as, you know, come into order or place your pickup order online. But the phone goes off crazy. Like, it drives me insane. Like, I'm ready to pull it out the wall. I'm, you know? I'm going to be honest. So, with you. <laughs> so let's talk about on a customer end, but I want to hear on your end because you know how customers feel like okay i come in there's a line why mm -hmm. is there a line 
why am I waiting this long for my food? People don't understand that part. Mm -hmm. It's taken a while because I'm literally making this from scratch for you. Right. Or, you know, there's a process or maybe something ran out and we had to run and go get it real quick. Like, right. so let's talk about that part. When someone comes in to order food and it's like 20 minutes. <coughs> So my thing, it depends on, you know, what you order. Because well. some people get like broiled salmon, which will take like about 25, 30 minutes, like 25, 30 minutes, depending on how busy it is. If it's not busy, it's going to take about probably 15, 20. So it depends what you get that. You good? Yeah. <laughs> I just started coughing. I'm like, listen, this, now is not the time to be coughing. So I'm not <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus <laughs> it is real <laughs> so but I think um, it's um you know when you're talking in the air just go down the wrong pipe mm -hmm. you're like oh I'm fine girl imagine not being around people fool and they looking at you like <laughs> like word Taz, you go that way like what the hell are you doing <laughs> right but I'm so, good thanks I feel like as far as that go, um, people got to understand, like, you when you come in, you don't know what we have. Like, we do online. Like, our Grubhub and our Uber is like a restaurant in itself. Like, say, for instance, we didn't have people come in and we just had online orders. That could pay our bills and pay workers. So if you have something like that, that means, like, we have a high volume of deliveries plus your order. Mind you, we could be short staff. If we only have two hands. You got somebody... You have like, you know, the fry cook who's over three fries that are at 350 degrees with two hands who has to drop whiten, who has to drop catfish, who has to drop shrimp, who has to drop fries, who has to drop anything, who also has to put on crab legs if somebody orders steamed shrimp. But not only that, you have people that's, you know, coming in to order, but then you have people that's ordering $100 worth of food. And this one orders $200 worth of food. And then you have drivers who are like, okay, I'm here waiting for this order. And it's like, okay, it's coming. Give me one second. But then you have customers like, listen, I've been here for this long. And it's like, ma'am, I know I'm coming. But, you know, we are human. We only have two hands. And we're trying as, you know, hard as we can. And you can't rush perfection. You can't rush good food. Like, you know, a lot of people know when they come, they're going to wait. But right. it's worth the wait. When you go home and I want to make sure your food is cooked to perfection and it's not overcooked or undercooked, I, you know, the high, you could die from food not being cooked properly. So you want to make, I want to make sure, and you should want to make sure that, you know, food is cooked at the right temperature and, right. it's, you know, cooked all the way. Hey, auntie. Yeah, because then if it's not cooked all the way and I don't rush you, I'm not mad at myself for rushing you. I'm mad at you. Like, yo, this is, why is this red inside? What's going on? You right. know, I don't you want that. To protect your yourself your brand like because right. it'll take that one person to just screw it up and not only that people don't understand like if say for instance you get food poisoning from a restaurant and you go to like my friend got food uh, got food poisoning and she went to the hospital and was hospitalized they had to send the health department there because you know that's not if you can get closed down just for having bad food temperatures if your food is not stored properly or at the right temperature the health department would shut you, will shut you down for that and people don't understand that so you know you can't rush stuff like that you you should want to make sure you know everything is good and also we do have a basement so sometimes we do run out of things and we have to go downstairs right quick you know to go and get it and people right. don't understand that because they're just seeing it on the outside but when you behind that counter and you got about 50 orders in front of you you got about 20 customers in front of you you got a phone going off everybody can't handle that pressure like it's not like this world is not built for everybody the food right. business itself is not for everybody because if you can't multitask it's not for you if you can't handle too much pressure it's not for you because you will really break down you will right. like you because then um just like retail and food sometimes you have your days where you're fully staffed and sometimes mm -hmm. you have your days where you're not. it's just me or it's right. just two people and I can, you know, relate to that because I've been that customer where, you know, I don't be like, yo, what the hell? Why is it taking so long? Like, where my food? But I'm like, well, damn, like, I've been waiting for a while. What the hell? I only ordered two things. And sometimes it's like, oh, okay, this person in front of me made 10 orders. 
Right. You know, right. So sometimes that too. I'm like, well, dang, I'm only ordering mac and cheese. But it's more than that because maybe that person took the last of it and now you got to do a whole new order of mac right. and cheese yourself. You know what I mean? So and people don't, un- and sorry to cut you off, okay. but. People also don't understand as well, like say for, something like mac and cheese, you know, we don't make people wait for that. But say for instance, you got a fish sandwich and then you just order, mind you, I have like 20 tickets ahead of you. I'm not looking at your one little fish sandwich yet because I have all these other orders in front of me. So even though you just ordered a fish sandwich and that's something that's quick, I still have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And if right. I give you your food before them, they're going to be ready to curse me up. Yeah, you're right. you right. You know, you know how people right. are. You know how Oh, like, Hell yeah, listen, I was on live first. I spent spend $100, this is ridiculous, you know? So we try our best to, you know, get food out at a certain, like, at a good time and hot too, because nobody want no cold fish. We want right. to make sure you're getting your food. As long as you get it hot, we're good. If it get cold on your way home, and that's that's on you, but as long right. as I gave it to you hot, that's that's my main goal. Giving it to right. you. And you know, people be complaining too. Oh, hell no. I had to wait and you gonna give me some cold food? Oh, right. I That's you. <laughs> right. I'll be mad too because I didn't went to restaurants and that happened to me. I done waited a long time for cold food. I could have came back there and made it myself. Yeah. So, um, so that's good to know because, you know, we got a lot of people, especially in New York, we get impatient when it comes to our food. Right. You know what I mean? That's the truth. And um, being that, so you're a chef for House of Seafood. Um, what is, I can't even think of it, but you know, every year, maybe it's even more than once a year, but um, what those um seafood trips, like was oh it? the the bus rides. Yeah, those mean like September. About, did you guys ever think about doing that? I mean, I know that's popular. No, we never thought about doing that. Well, I know I haven't because once I leave the restaurant, I, I try not to think of it because it's a lot. Like, I'm sure it is. To, to even throw something like that. And the price of seafood is very high, very high. And seafood, people don't know as well, like seafood uh, goes up at a certain time. Like when it's colder, the price of seafood goes up because it's harder to catch fish and stuff like that. So people don't understand, like, sometimes we can't order that fish when it's too hot, because if I order that fish too hot, how am I gonna make money when I'm still charging you the same price? And people don't understand that. Because if I do go up on the price, it's like, you're, you're going up and you're giving us the same amount. But it's like, we're buying, <laughs> we're, we're losing. So we, gotcha. if, I, if I'm losing, it doesn't make sense, you know, to, yeah, I'm not, not in business a business Right. And we also have to open our doors. We have to pay rent. So right, you gotta pay rent and you gotta pay. You gotta gas, pay for the food like, to beat us. Right, and I feel like people don't understand that sometimes. Like they don't think about. They just thinking about it from the outside perspective. Not they're not looking from inside or as a business owner. So right. you know, sometimes I like when I go out with some of my friends who don't understand. I have to explain it to them. Like, no, they're not doing nothing wrong because I know how it is to be on that other end. Of course, because it to me, like we look at it as, and I say we for like what I've seen and you know what I've probably done in the past, but we look at it as like, listen, this is food, this is your food spot. I came to get fed, where my food at, right? You know, and people don't think I, until they get to like a certain age or they've been in the business to know, mm-hmm. like, listen, we actually preparing it, all we did is taking time. You're not the only order. Like, yeah, you came in now and made your order and there's no one else here, but there's people that called in. Right. Yeah, people that a lot. And sometimes you're understaffed, all of that stuff. Yes. And, you know, people need to understand. Sometimes you're actually doing the calls, preparing the food, and handling the register at the same time. Yes. You know, Uber Eats, now with Uber Eats and stuff, it's a good thing and it's bad at the same time because now you're doing more than before. So you right. have walk in, you have the person that called to make their pickup delivery, you have the person that actually is getting a delivery, right? right? And then you have the Uber Eats and the Grubhub, you said. Right. So that's like what, five different things? 
Right. And people don't understand. Uh, just as busy as we have people coming in, the orders is probably twice or three times because we're getting about, I want to say every minute we're getting at least three orders. Wow. So it's like one after the other is coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. And so we close. Like, it, don't, especially on the weekends, they don't stop until we actually close. So imagine us getting out. We close at 10, but we're not leaving out there until almost 12 o'clock. Why? Because after all of that, getting food out, we still have to clean. Right. We have to still make sure we set up for the next day, make sure seafood is properly iced, all of that. That's so nice. it's, it's a lot. Yeah. So how is, how is business now for you during this COVID pandemic? Business is crazy. Every day. No, it is? Yes. It's crazy? It's tripling. Like, it's tripling. Like, even, like, looking at the amount of money we make on a normal week, and then now, it's right. double the amount. It's double the amount right now. Because, like I said again, it's not that many restaurants that's open. That's also, open. Also, you don't have so that now many. you're targeted. Like, oh, shoot. Right, How like, and this is the only place that's delivering. Are both your locations open or just one right now? So right now, just one location. Because Which the one, one is that? Lenin, the main location, Lenin. The main location. Yes. We, had, we only opened that location because the way it's set up, we have a window where we can, you know, serve people out of. The other location doesn't have that. So, you know, we, my grandma wanted to make sure we were safe before anything. Right. So she, we just did one location for now. And the one location is going, is going crazy in itself. So it's better just to have the one location. Well, that's good to know, too, because, you know, people are trying to be cautious as well. So the location that you have open, there's a barrier between you two. So that way you're good on both ends, you know, right. and it's just pick up only. Right. It's only and pick up. Online, online orders or? Yes. Online delivery and pick up as well. They could do both. All right. So, all right, let me get this right. So NYC and Bronx deliveries. Mm -hmm. I know you said Harlem, but. NYC <laughs> and no Brooklyn, no, no Queens, no Staten Island, no Jersey, you know, but we're going to get not there. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to get there. But not if we want, we have to personally come to you to get our food. Yes. And you have specials every day from 11 to 2. Yes, ma'am. And you get like two whitings. And, a, and eight shrimps, right? Oh, look at you. Oh, my God. Oh, eight. eight shrimps and scallops. And french fries. And french fries. Yo, I got this. Did you come work I with me? I might as well be an employee. I can come in there and be like, listen, this is our special. And this is what we listen, got. Some, some people will take them like a whole week to learn what you just said. <laughs> I got to work it. I've been there for two months. I still don't know. So Yeah, it takes time. You know, it takes time. But, it you does. know, uh, people, period, love to hear specials. Right. Of course. Because yeah, you also be like, $10. Because you also want to cater to your community. Like, you know, we, I live in a community that I service. So, you know, everybody don't always have that 10 or $15 or $20 to spend. Sometimes you might just have 7 or $8. Right. So ten dollars, you get seven dollars to buy the food, and you go buy you a drink or something, and then there you go. And you got a little extra to buy some chips. So you're the chef for House of Seafood, but do you also manage House of Seafood as well? Yes, we do everything. And how is that for you? Because that that puts more time and energy out. Like how how do you have? I mean. It's kind of weird to say right now because we're quarantined, mm -hmm. but outside of the whole quarantine, how do you have a life? Because you, like you don't. See, me, the only way I have a life is because I sacrifice. Like, even though I'm tired, I'm going to still go out. But honestly, like, having a business, anybody who has a business and they're doing it on their own or even with a partner, you don't have a life, especially when you have your business running seven days a week. And it's hard. Like my aunt, she doesn't. Ha she doesn't have any kids, and right. she feels like sometimes you know she doesn't have a life, and she don't. Like a lot of us don't. Like I try to go out after, and that's the most I do. I'll go out, but you really don't have a life because everything you so focused. Everything. Anytime something goes wrong, they're calling you. 
anytime oh this happened this happened you or oh, this right now you got to go cook you got to go do inventory it's a lot and i feel like a wow. lot of people look at us and they you know they look at the business and like oh my god y'all make so much money i want to invest i want to do this but y'all not really thinking about like Think about we doing fresh food. We don't do canned food. So you have to go get somebody to chop up them collard greens. Or if you right. don't have somebody to do it, you have to do it yourself. Or you have to have somebody peel those yams. And if you don't have nobody to do it, you have to do it yourself. You have to boil those potatoes. You have to peel those eggs. Yeah, you're making me so hungry, man. <laughs> you done said see, all types of seafood, soul food. Like, potatoes, that's it. Salad, that's all potatoes. you got to say. <clears throat> seafood, soul food. Bam. Right. <laughs> It's, it's Wait, do you and cater? Cake and bakery. Yes, of course. Y'all cater? Of course. Mm. And our catering menu is expanded. Like, we do beyond what's on the menu. We do lasagna, turkey wings, stuff like that. Oh, you can't be saying that. Listen, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. I'm telling you. Because I love me some seafood. I love me some mac and cheese and chicken, you know. I hate to say it, but I love me some chicken. They really love chicken. But you not said lasagna. Lasagna, big. Y'all meat. doing all that too? We do everything. Like Listen, they... yo, we got more people on my Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm doing my Zoom interview. You know, during this COVID pandemic, I'm here interviewing Lexi from House of Seafood. They still open in Harlem, and they do deliveries, and they do soul food. Oh, and, and if you're chicken. allergic, we have chicken. We have chicken. You trying to have people gaining weight during yes. the pandemic? And we do separate oils and separate batters for allergies, so we are very safe. That's what's we up. Love, we cater to everybody, not just people who eat seafood. Yo, this yeah, people who gonna have no summer bodies because of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Okay, BBW is winning now, girl. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, that's what's up, y'all. Y'all need to shoot over to House of Seafood that's still open during this COVID pandemic, yes. right? What's your hours? Want? You're open seven days a week. So the, you have yes. two locations, but your main one on Lennox is open. Yes. So for right now, for this COVID, we are doing 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And that's seven days a week? Seven days a week. Yes, ma'am. That's it sounds crazy. Yeah. And you're taking online orders, right? Mm-hmm. Which is House of Seafood. That M I C. Did I yes, get it? House uh, of that's Seafood. Just the website. That, that's the, just the website. Is Grubhub and Uber Eats. Yes. So to order is Grubhub and Uber Eats. Yes. Right. So we hoping that that would go to other areas other than Harlem and the Bronx. So you mainly deliver to Harlem and the Bronx, but like in order to get all those special deliveries, we would have to go in and it's it's pickup only. Hey Shay boss, heads up. Listen, I'm trying to we all hungry during this time, right? Uh-huh. Quarantine. And I'm doing a my interview on Zoom, right? Which is live right now with Lexi from House of Seafood, which is in Harlem. Yes. And she's trying to give us non summer bodies. Okay. The food is it sounds good. They have specials every day from eleven to two. All right, two whitings and you get eight shrimp, scallops, and fries for seven dollars. Yes, can't Are beat that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my aunt Chill is on the line and she and she in Harlem. House of seafood, Auntie, if you haven't been there already, they got some good food, great food. So you're a celebrity chef, top chef, and I mean, where can people find you at? Where are we going at? On Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, where you at? Because we hungry. So so for right now, um, I have the business page um, on Instagram. It's House of Seafood Express NYC. Um, House of Seafood Express NYC. Yes, it. my personal page is underscore underscore Biloxi, which is B E. L E X X I I E E. Yes, yes. And um, I'm on Facebook as well for the restaurant. It's House of Seafood. And for the um, for my personal page, it's Alexis Todd. So that's only Instagram and Facebook I have for right now. Mm, mm. 
I'm not on his Twitter wave yet. I forgot how to use Listen, Twitter. Listen, girl, we're not even going <laughs> to talk about the whole Twitter business. I forgot I how have it, but I'm on and off with it, but I know it's yeah. on Instagram and Facebook, mm-hmm. you know, great class. It's too much to deal with, too, when you have a, when you work and you're in a business. I would, my shifts are like 12-hour shifts a day. So. But you know what? If you have that Instagram, you could always, like, just post it automatically to Twitter. When oh you yeah, worry yeah. about doing it separately, so it's cool. Love you too, Auntie. Get that house of seafood. You closer to it than me, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, you you do it all under the seafood umbrella: scallops, shrimp, calamari, mm-hmm. uh, what else? Uh, crab legs. You do crab legs? Yes, ma'am. Catfish, um, salmon, catfish, salmon sal- cake, crab cake, salmon, crab. Man. That's a list. And hush puppies. So Crab people sticks. want fish and chips, right? Crab sticks, yes, ma'am. Crab Co- sticks. And seafood. Mac and, and cheese, trout. collard greens, yams. Potato honey salad. Cornbread. Rice, yes. Lexi's honey cornbread, potato salad, macaroni salad. Oh, Cold you know what I'm saying? Potato salad. Oh, bro. I'm about to pass out. Potato Steamed salad. vegetables. And that red rice, that red rice with the beef oh, sausage. Oh, that red rice. I got to try that red rice. With the beef sausage, baby. Mm. Mm, mm. Now, what about those that don't do meat? You got rice with just alone? Yes, know? but the rice and peas. Rice and peas. Got it. Yes. So you have dishes for vegetarians? Yeah, so we do like skin. Yes, we know there's a difference. Yeah, we have steamed vegetables. Um, we have yams. The well, I know the mac and cheese. The vegans can't eat um, grits. Oh yeah, shrimp and grits. Mm, that sounds so good. And we right have a smothered now. shrimp with our gravy. We have smothered shrimp too. You know what? I'm not feeling you right now because you just Babe. keep adding and adding <laughs> and adding. How, you know what it is? We have such a big menu. Like as I'm talking, that's how I, I remember. Like it's it's a lot. It's a lot on the menu. And as, as, that's dope that you cater. I definitely want to check out the menu because, yeah. Yes. A lot of yeah, people will get the that. baby showers, weddings, bar mitzvahs. Yeah. <laughs> Game nights, you know yes. what I'm saying? All types of stuff. We, so, even do, um, we even do cookouts. Like, I had a big cookout for my birthday, and they catered, they catered it. We catered it. We grilled what's everything. Up. Crabs, whole blue show crabs, everything. That's what's up. So listen, y'all. Y'all want to be fed. Um, House of Seafood is open. Not too many places are still open in Harlem. Shoot over there. They are open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. All types of seafood plus soul food. And they got baked, broiled, steamed, fried, Mm -hmm. all types of food and desserts. And what? They got it all. We got Go it all. to House of Seafood Express NYC, NYC on Instagram, yes. right? And Facebook? Um, Facebook is just House of Seafood. All right. So if uh, if they want to call in to make an order, what's the number to call? Oh, yeah. Uh, 646. 646. 484. 484. 5059. 5059. So you want to yeah, call in and make... Oh, two lines. Okay, what's the next one? 646. Uh-huh. 484. 484. 5132. So we have two lines. All right, so 646-484-5059 or 646-484-5132. What's the address on Lennox? 429 Malcolm X. 429 Malcolm X. Boulevard, yes, ma'am. Malcolm X Boulevard, y'all got that? So Harlem House of Seafood is open, 11 to 8. They got specials from 11 to 2 every day, all right? And you want to speak to chef, top chef, celebrity chef, because they have some celebrities that be going there. Lexi, mm-hmm. all right? Um, and if you want to personally follow her, underscore, underscore, B as in boy, E, L as in Larry, E, X, X, I, I, E, E. Yes. All right? And... You know, get that food going because we hungry. I'm hungry. And I'm hungry too. 
Anything else? I know I know we about to exit. You know, it's time. I mean, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's Saturday. We're going to see. I know you're going to be closing in two hours. So if you're interested, get your orders in now. you got two hours. Yes. If not, we'll be back open tomorrow at 11. Yeah, that ain't bad. Come in for your fish and grits, catfish and grits. Mm, 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 mm. Sounds so good right about now. <laughs> yes. All right, well, thank you for this interview. I know we both been busy. Like, reschedule, reschedule, reschedule. Yes, but we finally yes. did it. And um, this will be airing soon, you guys. So um, as soon as you see House of Seafood or be Lexi, that's when you know to actually see this on the Zoom interview to get additional information if you guys missed it. Um, I did part of it on Insta, part of it on Facebook. It's going to drop after 24 hours. So, I mean, you're going to have to wait for more. But listen now, get that information, and stay tuned on Live with Taji. Y'all heard it here. <laughs> Seafood and soul food, guys. Get fed. <laughs> yes. So, uh, thanks again. Um, no problem. Thank you for having we me. We finally did this. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Um, so WEMS Radio, you guys heard it here. Make sure you tune in Wednesdays, Profit Radio 6 to 8. And my Lulus, love the Lulus, but catch them on the comfort zone 8 to 10. Get that sexpertism in. Yes, I just made a word up. Sexpertism. Neurotic massage. All that good stuff dope couple and y'all heard it here from lexi with house of seafood get out there we are being quarantined but food is essential so it is what it is so um again make sure y'all follow lexi at underscore underscore b is in boy e l e x x i i e e or house of seafood express nyc Yes. And I believe the information is in your bio either way. Yes. And you also, I did, I, you do drinks as well. I saw that. Yes, I do personal drinks. Yes. Personal I'm a bartender. Drink. Yes. Soon, soon, soon plan to open my own, you know, bar and lounge. You know, so you, you definitely not trying to have a life with food, drink, like, girl. I'm trying to get rich or die trying, girl. I hear that. <laughs> But thank you so much, and make sure y'all keep tuning in and follow Lexi. Yes. Super supportive also to your brother, Mammy Zakali. Yes, yes. And I definitely got to give a shout out to my boy DJ Selly for the link up. Cool guy. He's, he's, he's about his business, too. He's such a sweetheart. And um, he was the link for us. And I appreciate you staying in touch with me. And listen... We here, girl. After this, I just want you know you to come down to the shop and come sit down and enjoy some food with me. Yeah, I'm gonna come through because I like to talk good. about what I know. Now I'm gonna come through because mm -hmm. you got hubby over here, like, yo, what's the hours? What? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, you're gonna see me soon. Okay, I got you. All right, all right, bye. bye. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Okay, bye. Bye. Say straight. I'm be out there tripping, hear me? Hey, them niggas out there tripping. They keep that yeah. ratchet with you. Yeah. I don't think a nigga won't smoke, uh, we can just do it on sight, sight, I've been a jump out of bushes, uh, hit that nigga with a pipe, Grr, who got the cops involved, uh, whoop that bitch like Ike, uh, who got the cops involved, uh, whoop that bitch like Ike, Ooh, nigga don't start no shit, cause I'm running smoke like a magic trick, I'm in the club with the baddest bitch, I'm tripping this off by accident, now, follow my drip, 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 whoa, uh, super soaker on the dresser, this a pool party, get you wet up, my bitch is a yellow butt, sticking yellow, Get checks by the money like she special Gold diggers treat me like some treasure Niggas ratting on you for the cheddar I'm a soldier, boy, you better tell him I walked in a bank with a teller uh, The trap wide bees like Cardi uh, If you a bad bitch, we could party uh, I fucked that bitch on the first night uh, You Uber on the way, I'm sorry uh, I hope you don't want no smoke uh, My niggas roll up like Marley uh, And they don't play no games They play with them sticks like this Atari uh, Yeah, I'm probably where your bitch at uh, I'm trying to put dick in a six pack uh, Got two bitches, they Mitch Mac, uh, I'ma break them off, no Kit Kat uh, I'm gonna die for my respect uh, Blind to the Hey, don't see that, uh, see what niggas do for clout, uh, leave them cameras off that, uh, now follow my drip, follow my drip, follow my drip, follow my drip.
follow my drip, 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 follow my drip. I don't think a nigga won't smoke. Uh, we can just do it on sight, sight. I've been a jump out of bushes. Uh, hit that nigga with a pipe. Who got the cops involved? Uh, whoop that bitch like Ike. Uh, who got the cops involved? Uh, whoop that bitch like Ike. Nigga don't start no shit, cause I'm running smoke like a magic trick I'm in the club with the baddest bitch, I'm dripping this sauce by accident now Follow my drip, 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 follow my drip Bitch, bitch, that ass while you work in a mirror, diamonds dancing on me like a scrapper I'm a big dog in these streets, call me Clifford, just made a hit by the Mick J. Richard Uh, I'm fresh at that suicide, shake my haters off, bull ride Pussy better come with nine lives, cause I'm a killer pussy, Michael Moss Uh, I take your bitch right in your face, I got fate like Stevie J I'm in my bag, no free though I came a long way from section 8 Cooking coke in microwaves Selling coke at the highest rate Bitches getting out of line That's that shit I don't tolerate I'm finna hop in the coop uh, Take them bitches that away All my bitches do X uh, It make them wanna celebrate Nigga I'm living my best life uh, Having gonna have to wait Money talk just like Chris Tucker Who give a fuck what a hater say Bitch nigga get your act right Wanna feature get your bag right I fucked your bitch that was last night I brought a Louis cause her neck right I keep a rack and I don't street fight I get you wrecked for a cheap price, I got him slipping cause I'm saucy, uh, I'm the one that won't be yeah. like, uh, I don't think a nigga won't smoke, uh, we can just do it on sight, sight, I've been a jump out of bushes, uh, hit that nigga with a pipe, Grr. who got the cops involved, uh, whoop that bitch like Ike, uh, who got the cops involved, uh, whoop that bitch like Ike, Ooh. nigga don't start no shit, cause I'm running smoke like a magic trick, I'm in the club with the baddest bitch, I'm tripping this off by accident, now. Follow my drip, 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 Red or taking flight, yeah. y'all. Things ain't been the same since I took my land, dog. And I'm a new artist, Gotta keep my head up. Gotta keep my head up. Do this, go. Some skates. Woo! I bet JC know me, huh? I'm a New Orleans nightmare. This city can't sleep on me, huh? I put my heart in these streets, huh? I feel like the new BG, huh? The government raised a nigga, huh? Thank God for EBT, huh? Now they slaving niggas, huh? My brother in DOC, huh? Call me TD Jakes, huh? Cause I don't rap, I preach, huh? I call this a tragedy, huh? Cause up in my hoodie, ain't sweet, huh? This is no wonderful neighborhood. This ain't what Roger B, honestly. How you my prophet? I told you this day, what a arrive for me? Labels, they trying to control my destiny like this is democracy. I grew up in poverty. Where they smoke you for paper like Wiz Khalif My killers like Malcolm, they exing you out Now you bitch ass, it's history Really, I feel like that white boy I ride with that stick, Harry Potter They tell me I'm young with greatness So I stay away from the bottom Yeah, they wanna bury my bones so Turn me into a fossil These rappers whining in their verses They starting to look like Mufasa Like I don't be giving that child support I'm selling coke to my own kind They tell me I'm sad and pitiful But I try to look for a job But they don't be hiring criminals I don't be watching the news I know that shit is so typical I'm starting to feel like a psychic Cause all of this shit is predictable I'm from New Orleans and a nigga Well any day it could get critical You gotta be beware the snakes You better watch yourself miss ago This is the realest I never wrote Nigga fuck you in the clip that you claim I'm feeling like pop I'm from New Orleans you could get slaughtered Young as they jumping out hotties with mouth Fuck is you talking I don't want bogging All the way out for my ass is a box I know they ragging just like Takashi Then they won't go get a fence or drop That's why I move like the president Call me Mr. Barack How you know time is Edison But I want to lit up my watch I get a whole lot of fatty I get a little nigga wop, wop Niggas be hustling and petty, uh That brother's still on the block, huh Nah, 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 nah Come on, come on They trying to bury me alive, no, no, no Keep that 40 by my side, oh, 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 oh I can't see my mama cry, no, no, no Gotta keep this hustle shit alive, oh, oh, oh These niggas selling they so, oh, oh, oh
to a hoe in a chair where I be said. I leave bitches calling my phone. I tell them I'm busy, leave me alone in a chair where I be said. Okay, la, at 18, politic and serving fiends. My name heavy in the streets. I'm the one that they believe. I remember being poor. Had shit for Christmas Eve. They were sleeping on a nigga top. Popped up in their dreams. At 17, ain't what it seems. When you came up in that bean, I'm addicted to the cream. Plus pussy pills and lean. My team, like Marines, go to war with the machines. That infrared beam, it justifies what I mean. 25 in my jeans. I've been up all night. So if you looking for them things, I went up on the price. Cause me, I got that cocaine that be whiter than rice. And you can find in the trap like a bitch on that pipe You know my swagger be right Your bitch might fuck me tonight And if I get your BM She gon' ask you no bite And actually I've been rapping Before they had open mic And now they biting my style And that's that shit I don't like I treat the beat like Tina And whoop that bitch like Icy They be feeling the kid Just check the YouTube like Cause in the hood I'm a J You niggas ain't really about that life See I go hard as the fuck You know pressure bus pipes I went to big timing 745 on the interstate Bumping Kevin Gates Transporting weight Weight breaks no, I'm trying to be too great But boy, you know I gotta eat me like two plates But fuck the jakes, fuck the snakes, I can't stand fake You know the clip extra long, it got inches rate I'm in the water with some sharks and you just bait And if you got a problem, just bring it this away I've been trapping over this though Trying to turn a half into a hoe And I try where I be, Zach The try where I be, Zach And I leave bitches calling my phone I tell them I'm busy To society, you know I keep that cane Catch you slipping in your whip, I want your rims and your chain Niggas sagging like they ballin' till I take them out the game Crazy how my success could bring another nigga pain I'm like, nigga, I keep that cannon for niggas who wildin' out Boy, this will murder, make you famous And killers, they want their clout Nigga slaying in your trash just to jump out like the grouch Better pray your God be with you when you walkin' out your house Seen a man testify and tell a truth on the game Got his whole crew indicted, now they walkin' in chains I can't be taking no L's, I stay away from you lanes I need all my albums Go like I'm Trinidad James ah, yeah. And rest in peace to BT Youngin Your fans still sliding till they ride the music bucking Now I'm hollering feed up Not a whole world grub Instead of going at these rappers Not a whole world love me I've been trapping over this though Trying to turn a half into a hoe And a trap where I be Zach The trap where I be Zach And I leave bitches calling my phone I tell them I'm busy Leave me alone And I trap where I be Okay, I'm still that same nigga, dirty kicks from the projects Stealing out stores, stuffing food in my backpack We ain't had no lights in the house, that shit was pitch black No MTV at my crib, I couldn't show you that I seen what niggas do for that cheese, they turn up big rats Same rodents end up whack, and that's a big fact Number one rule in the trenches, you never chit-chat Go against the code, but it's coming through your six-pack We still get harassed by authority, shit pathetic Trayvon got shot in his hoodie, I can't forget it Feeling like Mr. Bond with a golden gun on a mission Trying to make it out the hood with niggas is politics and y'all flexing on the ground, but ain't got a pot to piss in. You niggas need clout on little recognition. I'ma need a mirror, that's my only competition. Call the niggas Steve, they don't see you niggas fishing. If it ain't about the paper, I ain't worth it. All my life, I've been working. I'm too real, make these pussy niggas nervous. Still trapping hard, niggas still serving. If it ain't about the paper, I ain't worth it. All my life, I've been working. I'm too real, make these pussy niggas nervous. Still trapping hard. Cause jealousy will get you assassinated like Kennedy I'm misunderstood, I just need clarity Looking through my third eye, y'all can see they mad at me They ready to see me in jail Hollin' for a deputy with state misdemeanors And class one felonies My conscience keep telling me the devil coming after me But my life been cut short since he picked the apple tree I do this for the streets, for the youngest coming after me This rash shit ain't a game, boy, I should've been an athlete I put God first, then that money coming secondly Family keep texting me, my mama want the best for me And actually, I be in the 
these streets, no sesame. With 99%, won't make it out successfully. Die, go to jail, that's a black man destiny. But I'ma break the curse, I'ma rewrite my legacy. If it ain't about the paper, I ain't worried.